And welcome back to another episode of Ark Survival Evolved. Now, it has been about 30 seconds since the last episode, because I just wanted to quickly get some of the intro done. <coughs> oh god, my apologies. Um, so that as soon as Abby's finished being pregnant, um, I can just sort of film it. I don't have to bother with an intro or anything. I can just get straight into it. The thing I did just notice, I swear, my frame's over here. See, you can't see the counter, but currently it's staying at about 30. Over here, it's at about 20. But then over here, it like, goes back up to 30. It's weird! It's like, what's going on here that's causing so few frames? Eh. Sorry about the stutteriness. But also, you know, I've just... I did spend like the 30 seconds or so between episodes just going... It's so ridiculously fun. I don't even know why it's so ridiculously fun, it just is. Yeah. Oh, and by the way, something I did just... <sighs> so very sorry. I don't know what's come over me. Very sorry about that. Um, but yeah, something I did also notice, um, if you look, the food, it does actually go down, it's not fast or anything, but it is definitely faster than just leaving it alone, or just leaving her alone, because, you know, over a few days she went down a couple dozen hunger points or something, in the past hour or so she's gone, look, in, in that, like, couple minutes she went down point one point, so, it's not fast per se, um, on the wiki it said I like to keep her fed, so I went and got a good chunk of meat. But it's not fast per se, but it is faster than just leaving it alone. Just something to bear in mind. Hmm. But yeah, um, I'll be back hopefully when Abby uh, gives birth. We're going to get a baby Abby. Uh, what am I going to call it? I really don't know. I'll be back. Do Dickerous get away. Now, <coughs> just uh, quickly, I'll, you know, I did lie. <laughs> we're already back. But if if you've ever been one, uh, wondering what a good way to, uh, to sort of kill some time on Arc is, um, then what I recommend doing is taming a Quetzal. Then you only need the saddle, so you only need to be like level 60. You don't need to use the platform saddle, but you know, you could probably put a chair on or something. Anyway, what you do is you get it to follow another one of your dinos and you jump off. And then you Quetzal surf! A kill was this. <sighs> then you can also go diving. That one could very much end very badly if you screw it up. So be warned on diving. Uh, any any injuries to yourself or potentially dinos, uh, I accept no responsibility. Because it's your fault. I mean, then you do have the problem of like getting back on your quest, but that's not too bad. And then you quite simply just take it somewhere else, or back to the same place you were. One good thing to, to note is turn around, face the way it's going to go, because during the turning process, it can sometimes throw you off. And if you're high enough up, that will definitely kill you. So just face, at least roughly where it is going, jump off, and Quetzal Surf. I mean, how cool is this? Uh, thank you, Orc. I mean, at least for me, the frames are horrible, but still. How cool is that? Anyway, we'll be back when Abby is done. She's still got a lot left. I'm back, and as you can see, it is almost there. It's got to take down one more time, and it's ready. Now, because my frames are horrible for some reason, I am going to turn my t I'll turn my textures down to a low after it's born, just so you can so see it at medium at least. Because things do look quite good at medium. As you can see, the I don't know gestation. I I really have no idea what that is. <laughs> I'll be honest. Um, no clue. Oops. Get out of the way. So yeah, we're about to witness the birth of... Crap, I don't have a name for it. Yeah. But we do have a good bit of meat here on Vengeance. When it just went out and collected a whole ton of it ready. Hey, as you can see, the bar is completely full. It should take, like, literally any moment now. It should take over. Which will be so cool. We'll have our our baby direwolf. We'll be able to see what it's like and we'll be able to raise it as our own. And since it's the weekend, I should be able to keep it alive. Emphasis on should. Because I want to keep it alive, but I can't promise anything. I, like I said, I do have a lot of food to put on it, but. You know. It's hard work. <laughs> Plus, God knows, if, if my internet was to go out like, right now, then the baby would die, undoubtedly. Unless Abby can look after it. Oh, 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 oh! 
Oh, 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 oh. It poops a direwolf. You see that? It actually poops a dire. She poops a direwolf. <laughs> oh, that's great. One hour, one day, and seventeen hours. Okay. But look at this. We got baby direwolf. Oh, look at the little direwolf. How cool is that? I've got no idea how long it takes to mature. Like no idea whatsoever. Okay, we can't put anymore. On. But look at that. It's so tiny. Uh, what level are you, my friend? Eighty-two. Okay. What are we gonna name you, my friend? What are we gonna name you? Uh, I really don't know. But look at the little dog. Who cares? I mean, just look at it. It's so cute and adorable. Oh god. Headphones are falling off. Sorry about that. But look at it, it's so cute. It's literally just a tiny version of Abby. Uh, yeah, it's wonder. I mean, how cool is that? Oh, it's even got a tiny stubby tail. That was actually my voice breaking there. That wasn't me by being high pitched. I normally can't do that. I want to be able to pick it up. I want to be able to pick it up. It's got a stubby tail. It's a Jack Russell or something. Oh, this is so cool. Oh, I feel so masculine right now. <laughs> God knows how long it takes to work to mature. I mean, it's been, uh, it took a couple hours, uh, yeah, about two two hours or so for it to um, to be born. And you saw, that was actually quite comical at the end, it just poops it out, which is kind of funny. But it's a level 82, so let's quickly check out the stats, I guess, while waiting for it to eat. So, 1300 health, not bad. 624 stamina, not bad at all. 183 weights. Die wolf's weight crap. <laughs> 300 melee damage, not bad at all. 130 movement speed, that is not bad. Let's check it to the, compared to the pack leader. Obviously he's going to have a ton more health. That is just what I pump in him. Melee damage is about the same. Movement speed is about the same. Obviously it's, the other one's got less weight. Stamina is about the same. Uh, melee damage. Let me double check the melee damage on this little thing. Oh, it's following me as well. How oh, cute. It's only a little bit less than the pack leader. And then health, you know, we can pump health, no problem with that. Yeah, it's actually quite interesting. It's like as good as pack leader. Well, minus the health. That is not what I expected. That is not at all what I expected. Oh. So I just love it. I mean, just, it's got the tiny little legs. And, and the stubby tail, I don't know what it is, but the stubby tail just gets me. Just look at that. Now, I have no idea how long this thing's going to take to mature. No idea whatsoever. <laughs> but it will be in this episode. I hope. It's not going to die. I'm going to make sure of that myself. I'm going to personally stay on here. Just make sure it doesn't die. Uh, orc. Dirty. Die wolf. Maturation. Sorry, just quickly Google. I want to know roughly how long it's going to take for us to mature. Oh, oh god. Sorry about that, my headphones are falling off again. It's very annoying. It's, yeah, I'm going to have to keep this... Girl or guy? Girl. Topped up with food. She needs to have loads of food, so let's see. Uh... No, it doesn't say there. I, would, I really want to just find out how long it takes. Because currently it's going to take a whole lot of time. I don't know. I'll find out off camera. But yeah, I'm just going to have to spend ages here just doing this. I'm going to have to keep myself nice and topped up from vengeance. You see, I did a whole lot of meat farming beforehand. So we should be fine. Emphasis on should. If we're not, then we're kind of screwed. Oh wow, it's already gone up a sliver. Okay, so it's only going to take a couple hours. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to put her in front or next to Abby so that hopefully it becomes noticeable when if she grows. Because I don't know if she will. 
I don't know if she's going to go from that height to that height all at once, but we'll find out. So yeah, I'll be back with a adult direwolf, or maybe a teen or something. We'll find out. Oh, I love this thing. Where are you going? Don't wander. Okay, apparently that's something worth noting. They're automatically on wander. And it what? Thank you. I get back over here. God damn it. Kids these days, huh? I'd like to retract my previous statement. Um, it's been about 40 minutes. Uh, yeah, near enough 40 minutes since, like, basically she started. And yeah, you see, she's barely gone anywhere. She's gonna take forever. Thankfully, however, I will be able to get more and more meat on her as she goes. Maybe even eventually she'll have enough for me to leave her alone. I don't know. Like, by alone, I mean like overnight or something. But yeah. It's cool. So, literally, I am just lying here. I'm trying to take sort of a screenshot every five minutes just to sort of see how, if she's actually growing. But the problem is, staying completely still is really hard when I need to constantly go like this to get meat. And then lining up again is just like impossible. So, if I'm taking screenshots to see if if like there's actually a gradual development in the height, or if it's just all of a sudden it goes to sm small to big, I'll find out. You know, it, it'll be fairly easy to tell if all of a sudden it goes to small to big, but it it'd be hard to sort of show off it going gradually getting bigger, if that's what it does. So if it does uh, gradually get better, bigger, then the next thing you'll see after this little bit is um, just sort of the screenshots, just, you know, like I said, every five minutes, just sort of however long it takes, um, for, however, for however long it takes, it doesn't look like I'm going to be able to do it for the entire time. Um, just sort of show her girl. And yeah, so I'll be back soon. Quick update. Um, it has been a approx... Oh, sorry about that. Uh, approximately an hour and ten minutes since the direwolf was born, and as you can see, it's gone up a tiny, tiny sliver. Like, oh my god. Like, uh... Yeah, on my screen, um, if I, <laughs> obviously you won't be able to see this, because this is in real life, but I'm putting my, my hand up to it, and that bar um, on my screen, the size of the player, is about the size of my pinky. It hasn't even gone half the way up my finger now. How insane is that? I don't even want to know how long it's going to take for this to fully mature. But thankfully it's getting better. We can fit more and more meat on it. I'll take it off. So eventually, I presume we'll reach the point at which we can leave it for a few hours or so. Maybe even overnight. Don't know if I'm going to. Um, this may end up being an all-nighter type deal because I don't want this thing to die. Also, I think it might be getting bigger, but unfortunately, Abby Light moved away a bit, and I can't get lined up as well, so... You're gonna have to cancel on the photos. I've already deleted them, so never mind. But yeah, it is so cool. Um, yeah, what happened with Abby is actually I had a small heart attack almost. That frame's gonna be really low, it's because I've got other things open just now. I normally don't, but I was like, eh, why not? Um, but yeah, what it is, I took Vengeance up onto the mountain just to get some more meat, because, you know, she, uh, the baby, eats a lot of it. And it turned out Abby was following me while I went up, and I was like, "What?" Um, so she was like stuck on the mountain. I was like, "Shit!" So I had to, uh, then I ran up with the pack leader and just sort of cleared the way like multiple dinos just to get her back. It's like, can't have this thing die now, can I? Yeah. Thankfully, baby die wolf wasn't falling or anything. So that's good. But yeah, I'll be back. You've got fangs. Nice. I'll be back. Oh, he's only about two hours old, and yeah, he's already flying. Wait, he's a direwolf. They don't fly. Dun, dun, dun. <laughs> so cool. It can hold more food by now. Um, I'm gonna make this a quick thing, because my frames are about low, because I'm actually doing something else. It's getting better on how much food it can hold. Currently, it's up to... Um, this much, which is good. It's getting a lot higher. So let's start. Um, I mean, unfortunately, it does go down about 2.3, I think, a second or something. 
something like that. Um, so it's still not viable to leave her for uh, leave her for long periods of time. But I can leave her for a little bit. I can go get some more food and that. You know, she can hold. Uh, what's that? 153 or something, I think. Uh, yeah, 15, 15.3. <laughs> my apologies. Uh, 15.3 weight, 0.1 per meat. So yeah, well, 153 meat currently. She's getting better. She did actually get hit. Um, thankfully, I doesn't need to bat her own babies. But a Bronto came into my base and I was like, oh, get away. You're you're literally damaging all my things. I mean, look at these two are both destroyed. Down to 104, down to 104, 168, 168. That somehow missed a swing. 993, 1668. See, like, apart from the things that are like, immune to it, pretty much everything got damaged. Like, I, I need to repair these, there's no doubt about it. They're so low, I have to. Um, because the Bronte came up and I was like, oh, get on my base. So I got my journeyman bow. It's only a bow, it's not even a crossbow. I still want a journeyman crossbow. I just went over there, just shot it. And then for some reason it just swung where it was. I was like, no, don't target my dinos, target me! And so naturally all my dinos went on it. Um, it was down about three seconds. Like It was the fastest kill I've ever seen. The uh, fastest Bronto kill I've ever seen, sorry. It was insane. But thankfully Baby Dire Wolf, um, since, since she can't fight, fight really, um, maybe it's just set to passive, I don't know. Um, she was swung way over there, sorry about the frames just now, um, and so she didn't attack, she was out the way, so she did get hit, she dropped like 200 health or something, so if she had gone and fought, she would be dead right now, no doubt about it. But she's not, she's good. Still, you know, we're about the 2 hour mark, and you see, still a tiny, tiny bit of maturation. It's going to take so long. But yeah, I'll uh, be back, probably with the next, what's seeming to be our lay update. Well, it's been about two and a half hours now, and apparently it's name changes. It goes from a baby direwolf to a juvenile direwolf, which is really cool. Um, his parents are just here. I accidentally left the tribe of Havoc annoyingly, um, just clicked L by accident, and then I leave tribe again by accident, which is very annoying. So I thought it was like exit the menu, but it wasn't. Um, yeah, thankfully this actually is owned by me. Um, everything else is owned by Havoc. But yeah, it's a juvenile direwolf. It's getting better. We can hold a good chunk of meat on it, which is quite nice. Um, but yeah, a juvenile. How cool. Okay, we are currently about nine hours into the ma maturing. As you can see, it's a whole lot bigger. Just look at that. It's probably about twice the size as it was nine hours ago. Um, I don't know what showed this off last clip. What I've done is I've put a feeding trough here because once they reach a juvenile, they can actually... Uh, feed from troughs. Thank you for that lilac. I didn't know. Um, she just, you know, casually mentioned it. I was like, what? So I finally made a feeding trough, and yeah, it's packed full of meat. And c because her food goes down so fast, I can't leave her for very long in her. She just can't hold enough food for it to sort of be viable to leave her for a long period of time. So this allows me to go off for a few hours and come back on. I still have to monitor her remotely, you know. Like I said, I just have to come on every few hours now, which isn't too bad. Um, it's kind of brutal for getting sleep, but we'll ignore that because it is about 5 in the morning for me. And I haven't been able to sleep yet. Because of her. But she's going to be awesome, so I'll forgive her. And yeah, so, I mean, what's her food going down at this by this point? Uh... I, I can't think right now. <laughs> I'd like to just to slow down. Just just slow down. I think it's going down by like 2.6 or something. So yeah, I mean that's give or take 180 meters an hour. Um, accounted for the rotting time, which is 800 minutes on these. Um, yeah, it's not too bad. It should last a little while. I mean, technically, I think I can get about 8.337 hours, not accounting for spoilage, so probably about 5 hours accounting for spoilage, which is kind of brutal. But yeah, and what I've also done is to keep her safe, I've got her right here, and I've got all my dinos uh, following the mammoth. Uh, she is set to passive, the mammoth is set to passive, everything else is set to neutral. 
If anything hits anything, it dies. That is quite simple. If anything comes up here and takes a, even the slightest nip on anything here, it dies. It is that simple. Um, the direwolf should remain unharmed, and if something just tries to attack the direwolf, it should aggro on the mammoth. That's the plan. That's the hope. If it's gonna work, I don't know. What occurred to me is I should probably actually have some. Actually, that'd just be a waste of a slot, wouldn't it? I'm thinking. I'm tired. Sorry. Um, but yeah, as you can see, you know, it's getting a lot bigger. It's not as cute right now. It's like a teenager. You guys wait. Still pretty cute though. Yeah, it's getting better. It's at like uh, almost almost half its final health, which is quite cool. Only about what was that? Forty points off that? Not bad at all. Almost a half its potential food, which again isn't bad at all. Oh, well, it says how much weight it can hold at the top. So certainly can uh, currently can hold seven hundred and one meat, which isn't too bad. Um. Yeah, I'm gonna go back off now. Uh, I thought fine. Um, yeah, I'm gonna go back off just now. I'll be back on in a few more hours. Hopefully, get a couple hours of sleep or something. But I'll have to like set an alarm or something because I can't. I can't properly go to sleep because in five or so hours this will be not necessarily empty, but it'll be out of raw meat. It'll be down to the spoiled meat, which she can't eat, so she'll start to starve. And going down two points, that's it, two and a half points a second, near enough. Yeah, you know, she'll be down, yeah, you know, not long. Um, currently, the, that's. I can't be right, 50 seconds? No, I can't be right. Um, 25, 10, 100. Oh, so about 500 seconds, yeah. It's an area of 500 seconds, so like, what's that, 9 minutes? 8 and a half minutes, give or take? Yeah, eight or eight, about 8 and a half minutes without food is how long it would take for her to run out of food, give or take, at uh, this current time. And then her health would go down so rapidly. She'd probably survive maybe another 30 seconds or something, and she'd be dead. And all this would be gone. <laughs> and that would be brutal. It'd be horrible to lose that. So yeah, I'm going to go off, I'll be back with another update. We are up to 15 hours, sorry, 15 and a half hours after birth. Um, actually, I've been to sleep. And yeah, look, it's getting better. We've got an adolescent Darwolf by this point. Uh, you know, food up to about 2,000, which is quite nice. <sighs> um, I went to sleep longer than I ex expected, and... I actually genuinely thought all this would be gone. I don't know why. Um, I was just blatantly wrong in the last clip. Um, ignore that. Um, and you're just completely and utterly wrong. You're just completely fine, and the food's only like. The food's barely gone. It's like half of most of the slots. It's like. Yeah, I was completely wrong. My apologies. But it's getting bigger, it's getting a lot bigger, as is quite clear to see. I mean, if you bring Abby over, if we tried to bring Abby over, just quickly tell it to, to stop. You see, it's. You know, the, it's just getting a lot bigger. I don't know if it's been in stages, because, like I said, I've been asleep for the past six hours, so I can't physically do a five minutes thing. And the bit that I did five minutes on, it just didn't seem like it was getting any bigger, so I was like, okay, just scrap that. Because it did that for like two hours. But yeah, Eyeless and Direwolf is getting better, the tail's getting longer. It's not quite as bushy a tail as these guys, but still. <sighs> it still takes an amazingly painful amount of time. Because if you look at that maturation process, progress, it's, like I said, it's been about 15 and a half hours since birth. I've had a stopwatch going, like, pretty much since I was born. Oh, now I can go get some breakfast. And another quick update. We are approximately 19 hours after birth, and as you can see, it's getting there. Um, 
by my reckoning, I'll probably be close to about 24 hours, so... Yeah, not a horribly long left to go, 5 or 6 hours or so. Which isn't too bad, compared to how long we've waited. Thankfully, you know, feeding with the feeding trough is not too bad. I need, I'm gonna top this up again, as I do every time I come on. Um, yeah, she's doing good. I think she's getting bigger. Uh, where's the other ones? Over here. Let's get you over here so we can have a nice comparison. Oh yeah, she's like almost the same size. I don't know how it was last clip, because I can't remember, because that was hours ago, but still. Yeah. So that's quite cool. So I'm now going to hop on Vengeance, head up to North Island, get some more meat, top that up, and uh, yeah, I'll either be back with another update if something happens, or um, I'll be back when she's uh, done. Another quick update. Uh, we are approximately 22 hours after birth, and as you can see, she's almost the same size as the adults, uh, which is quite cool. See so the maturing uh, bar is getting very high. If we look at the stats, you know, our health, it's only 114 off being full, Food is only 300 off being filled. It's going up nice and quickly. I do need to... I don't think... I, I probably don't even need to refill this. I'm going to. But I probably don't even need to. So yeah, it's time to jump back on Vengeance. Head up to North Island, get another load of food. Yes, yeah, looking very good. She's a bit skinnier. Um, I can't put another star. She seems to be a bit sort of skinnier than the adults, but... I'll probably be fine. Everybody else, not quite as long yet. But she's getting there. And yeah, then we're going to have a nice die wolf. So yeah, back to North Island <laughs> once again for like the umpteenth, umpteenth time. Because I want to keep that um, that feeding trough nice and full. <laughs> okay, I'll be back. Hopefully when she's done, maybe, possibly. And welcome back. And we are sitting at about 24 and a half hours, maybe a little less. Um, and yeah, she's basically finished. You can see she's like the same height as Abby and stuff. And if you look inside her, you see her weight at the top, 183.50. Then if you look at her weight on the side, 183.6. That means I'm pretty sure I just need to go up by now 0 0.08 more. And then she'll be completed as a complete adult. Which is insanity. Um, you know, 0 0.7, 0 0.07, sorry. It's getting much closer. I presume the way it means on the right would be uh, 183.60. This is insane, because it means... You know, after all this time, after bombing on and off every few hours, um, I just keep this food trough actually filled when I didn't even need to, um, as much as I did, even remotely as much as I did. Um, she's just about finished, you see 0 0.02, 0 0.01, come on. She's done. Ha! Ah! She's finished. <laughs> How cool is this? We can now... The trough is a bit wet. How cool is this? She's finished! I just live in a bad direwolf. I mean, I'll just quick go over the stats one more time, and then, then I'm going to end it. Um, yeah, level 8 to it's, Obviously, she hasn't been leveled at all. She just she just gained the ability to start getting XP. But, you know, 1320 health, 620 stamina, 317 melee, 130% movement. It's not that direwolf wolf at all. It's amazing. <laughs> She's amazing. That I've actually got this. How cool is it that we finally breeded, we finally bred our direwolf? Oh. Now to go get this video to render up so I can show off my baby, my not so baby direwolf anymore. <gasps> Wait, no, that's that's what I need to name it. That's, that's just give me the name. TMC. Not. So, baby wolf. Is that gonna fit? Not so baby wolf. I love this. Okay, well, th well, if you have stuck around long enough for this, sorry, it's been a lot of just jump cuts. Um, I know it's generally don't make for the best episodes, but it's sort of been a case of sort of been doing. Um, but yeah, if you did enjoy the episode, please smash that like button. If you want to see more, f if you, sorry, if you didn't enjoy the episode, please hit that dislike button. But if you wouldn't mind leaving in the comments, why didn't you dislike? Uh, why didn't you like it? Yeah, 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 yeah. I can't speak. <laughs> if if <laughs> subscribe if you feel like you want to. Um, <laughs> sorry, my brain is completely melted right now. Um. 
go ahead and follow me on Twitter, the link should be in the description, hopefully, and I will see you all in the next episode of Ark Survival Evolved. Yeah, so, uh, bye! Not that. <laughs>